Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. My name is Tom and in this how-to I'm going to be discussing how to create a custom view in EAS. I'll be walking through how to build a custom view in EAS. I'll talk to you about what exactly a custom view is. I'll talk about what you can put in a custom view and what you can't put in a custom view. And then I'll just walk through the steps of doing so. One quick thing to note is that I'm using EPM version 11.1.2.2. And so there may be some differences between versions, but on the whole, this is a very, very, very uh, similar process across versions. To start, let's talk about what a custom view is. Well, this is my definition. It's a container or menu to put your most heavily used applications, databases, calc scripts, report scripts, filters, and rules in. And the benefit in using this is so that you can quickly navigate between your most uh, frequently used objects. So again, what can you put in a custom view? Your servers, applications, databases, calc scripts, report scripts, filters, and rules files. You can't put S-based users and groups, administration servers, or administration server users in your custom view. So that's now defined. Let's go through the steps in creating one. To begin, log into EAS. And once you are logged in, navigate to an object that you want to add to your custom view and right click. Now, as you can see here, I'm actually right clicking on an S based server, and there's a reason why I'm doing my S based server, and I'll explain that in just a little bit. But as you can see here, I've right clicked, clicked Add to, and added a new custom view. Now that I've created a new view, which has been called My View One, I actually want to go ahead and rename it. So I'm going to right click and click Rename My View, and I've renamed it to Tom's View. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some objects from my enterprise view into my custom view. So I've navigated back to my S-based server, and I've started adding things to my view. As you can see here, I've added an application called ADISO. Now that I have my most frequently used server and key applications added, I'm going to go ahead and continue on and add some things like an important calc script that I frequently run and also an application and also a database. So as you can see here, by right clicking and clicking add to custom view, I've added my server, an application I frequently use, the sample basic application, and the aggregation calculation script from sample basic. These are things that I'm all running constantly, looking at constantly and using constantly. So it's nice to have it in one concise place. I've also added the Protactinium server here at the very top because I don't want to have to toggle back and forth between Enterprise View and My View to go ahead and look at my server. So this way I can still quickly look at my applications without having to toggle back and forth. Uh, one thing to note is that this view is going to be saved for when I next log into EAS so that I can quickly access my content again and again and again. So again, this is how you create a custom view in EIS. It's a nice short video and I hope it was useful for you. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.